Hello guys, welcome back to another Android AtMob tutorial. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to implement a rewired video ad in your Android application. So here I already create an Android Studio project. In this application, we have a button here. If user click the button, we display some rewired video ad unit. If the user completely watch that video, we reward some points to the user. So first step, we have to integrate the Google Mobile Ads SDK to the Android Studio project. Go to the official documentation from AtMob. Copy this line. Open build.gradle file. Paste that line here. Sync project. So here project sync finishes successfully. Now add the application ID. So copy these lines. Open Android manifest.xml. Paste it within the application tag. So here you have to specify your application ID. For testing purpose, here I am going to use a sample AtMob app ID. You can replace it with your real app ID before you publish the application. Always use test ID unit ID and test app ID for testing purpose. So this is a test app ID. Now open main activity. From the on create method of main activity, I am going to initialize the mobile ads SDK. So now here successfully integrate the Google Mobile Ads SDK. Now we have to create some ad unit in the AtMob. So you have to go to your AtMob, you AtMob account, then you have to create some rewarded ad, then you have to copy the ad unit ID and place it within the Android Studio project. For testing purpose, always use test ads. So in this project, here I am going to use a sample ad unit ID for the rewarded video ad. So copy this sample ID unit ID. I am going to paste it within the values strings.xml. Add a new string resource, open editor. Rewarded ID unit ID. Paste the value here. Ok, now we can start coding, open main activity, create variables, first create variables for button, reward, now create variables for text view, the purpose of the text view is to display the points of the user, so name it as txt points. Now create some variables for rewarded ad. Now create some variables for the points. Initialize that variables with the value 0. Now for display log message, create some string, string resource. Now from the on create method we can initialize the button and text view. BN reward txt points txt points. Now for load the ad, I am going to create a method called uh, private void load and for display the ad unit create another method called uh, show add ok now we can load the ad unit so this dot revert add equal to new revert add this need two parameter first one is context 
and second one is the id unit id we all, all already place it within the strings code xml divided id unit id for load the id unit we need some callback methods so divided add load callback here you need to override two methods these two methods on revided and loaded and on revided and failed to load these two methods so first we can display some log message revided and loaded successfully now from this method it is failed load failed ok so once the add load is successfully we can enable the button set enable into true now we can load the add unit load add first parameter is add request no add request builder and build method call the build method second parameter is the callback method here it is add load callback ok now we can display the add unit so first here check the condition if the add is loaded successfully or not if this dot revided add dot is loaded otherwise display some log message it is failed to load to display the id unit here also we need some callback methods Revided. Here it is revived at add callback. So here we overwrite one method called on user in reward. We can reward the user from this method. Here some other methods are also available. We can overwrite all the methods. First another method is on revived and open, add close and add failed to show. So we can display log message from these methods. Revided and failed to show. So here this method invoked once you close the and unit. Closed. this method invoked once you open the add unit open from this method we can reward the user that means if the user completely watch the video this method will be invoked user rewarded in this method I am going to provide some points to the user so increment the variable points by 5 now display the points using the text view points So once the add closed, we can disable the button, set enabled into false. So once you close the add, we have to load another add unit. So from the on revived add closed method, I am going to call the load add method again. And finally, we can display the add unit.
protocol that you have to call the show method. This need two parameter. First, first parameter is context. Second parameter is the callback method. Here it is, add callback. Okay. Now from the on create method, I'm going to call the load add method. Now we can create the click listener for the button. From this method, I call the show add method. Okay. So now we can test the application. I run the project. Open the lock act. Yeah, we I copy the tag for the log message. Now open lock act and paste the tag here. And the project again. It is not working. I will run the project again. Yeah, now it's working. So here, the uh, add is loaded successfully. Rewarded, add loaded successfully. I click the button. Now the add is opened. So that method is invoked. So before finish the add, I close the add unit. But here the add is finished. The user is rewarded by five points. You can try it again. So before finish the add unit, I close it. Close the video add. Here it is closed. Now here another add unit is now loaded. Now I close the add unit. So here again user rewarded by 5 points. So this is how we implement a rewarded add unit in your Android application. I hope you understand the concept. For getting more Android tutorials, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching.